You're not restricted by sides like you are now, in terms of you got to stay on the west side or the east side. Right. The new stadium, you can go wherever you want. You can enter and exit whatever exit you want, which now you're restricted again, east or west side or north or south. Well, it's a lot like the, the, where the Jays play, where we met. Skydome, or uh, Rogers Center. Yeah, because that, we love that, because we went to our seats and then it was... Let's run off during the intermission there, the break, do some shopping. Oh, we never got back to our seats. <laughs> we just kept looking and oh, shopping yeah. and drinking and had a blast. But the game went by like that. It Is that like, right? What do you mean we have to leave? <laughs> what do you mean it's over? A very interactive stadium. Like, Is that right? Yeah. And it was a great experience. So this and that's what I think the riders are trying to do, is make it more of a game day experience rather than just a game experience. It's going to be up to uh, 200 concessions. So they also want to have to go and actually sit and have a meal if you want, you know, for, especially for people coming out of town, they can come and have a meal. And it's just not the burgers and stuff, like they're actually having outside vendors come in as well. So national plus local restaurants are uh, interested in, in setting up a new stadium. So that'll be so many good local Yeah, exactly. So, um, so again, more opportunity, you know, make it a better place to go for the game as well. Yeah. Expanding game day activities as well as in the Federation Park. That's where the pre-game stuff will be going on, but also make it, again, more fan-friendly, having more activities for all the fans. How smart is that? How are your knees pushing up to my chair? You got some room there? I, I'm, so there's five so inches far away between rows. Versus the current stadium, and there's cup holders. Yeah, yeah I knew. I knew. <laughs> I love it.